my fundamental belief comes from my philosophy, which is know thyself, be thyself, and love thyself. And like I said, I would add, enjoy thyself. Because I believe that we are here, um, and the purpose of life is to experience the joy that is exclusive to continuously recreating the next best version of who we really are. That really means it doesn't end. My name is Lorenzo Delano, I'm 27, and I am a writer, so I write most of the time. Um, I'm also a marketing consultant and a health professional. I will outline certain inflection points in my life that sort of set me on, um, you know, very exciting journeys. And I suppose the first one for me was the fact that I left school at age 14. It wasn't a very easy decision, but we moved around a lot. So it made sense to do homeschooling. But even the homeschooling, I wasn't really interested in the work. So even though the setting changed how I was learning and it just, I wasn't inspired, just never did my work. My mom finally acquiesced to my inquiry of, you know, couldn't I just do anything else? And at the time I was still skateboarding, you know? So of course she was like, well, you can't just be a skateboarder, you know? But uh, when I picked up the first book that I would read from cover to cover, um, the first book I was ever interested in, that book was titled The Warrior Within by Bruce Lee. Actually, it was by John Little, but it was of Bruce Lee's philosophy. For the first time, I enjoyed reading. For the first time, I really got, um, you know, I got so inspired that I, I realized that it wasn't necessarily Chinese martial arts or reading or anything like that per se, but I just knew this is what it means, this is what it means to enjoy learning. This is what it means to explore. And it was through the martial arts that I just, you know, fell in love again with physical activity. Because throughout my whole life, I've been very physically active. I grew up doing gymnastics um, and, you know, just being very active. Actually, I, I'm, I can never sit still. Even to, to this day, I actually still I do this funny thing where I rock back and forth when I write. When I concentrate, it really irritates everyone else. But, um, you know, it's just, I can't sit still. I love to be active. Um, and then after that, started running and started running every day. When the Chinese master at the school left for America, I was very sad because, I mean, I like, you know, if, I'm, if I want to learn something, I want to learn it as, you know, I want to I explore it as authentically as possible, um, get it from the root. And when he left, I decided, well, you know, I'm not going to continue with, with the people that were running the school. So I left, I stopped doing Chinese martial arts after about three years. Um, I took my Mandarin studies more seriously, although that was part-time, I didn't do, um, it wasn't, wasn't at a school or anything. And then after that, I decided to move to China to actually explore the, you know, the, the, the Chinese way of life um, or the Eastern philosophical um, way of life in, in depth. So when I was 18, I moved to China um, and taught English there. But let me tell you, it was very difficult. It was the hardest thing I ever did, especially going alone, you know, and um, immersing, being immersed in a culture that is just completely different. It's not like going to Australia or New Zealand or, you know, the United States where it's very similar. You can adapt rather quickly. Whereas here, everything was different. The way you eat, the way you smile, the way you greet, the way you, everything was different. So that was very tough. But I think that was a, um, like I said, it was a huge inflection point in my life. And, uh, but it was an interesting thing, while I was there, I didn't know what I wanted to do, although, because I had so many different interests. But while I was in China, right before I came back, I knew what I wanted to do. And um, that was when I was living in China and just see the culture, how people, every, everybody walks, people eat differently, people share. That inspired me to come back and I knew that I wanted to go into fitness. So I enrolled for a, um, Diploma in Exercise Science at ETA Exercise Teachers Academy in uh, Centurion and studied for a year but was supposed to study for two years but again I dropped out because just the pace for me was too slow um, but I mean I had got enough experience got a certificate instead of diploma and decided to just go and do an apprenticeship so I sought out some trainers people that I could train with and found a very experienced and knowledgeable trainer um, and I trained with him for about two years. Studied there for a couple of months, then I ended up working there for two years and then decided to leave. Just thought, you know, I wanna do my own thing. Um, and yeah, then I opened my own gym. Very excited about that. So I partnered up with my, with my good friend, Brad Openshaw, 
um, and we opened a gym which lasted for about three years and uh, just absolutely loved that and that's when I realized that it wasn't personal training that I loved so much or health and fitness so much as to teach because I was in China teaching not realizing that I've been doing what I've always wanted to do which is to teach I love to teach and uh, I love to teach on the things I have experience um, with even more of course um, but yeah that's when I realized that that I'm more, I'm more of a teacher than anything else because I remember clients would walk in into the gym and I would just talk their heads off you know talk about all kinds of things um, philosophy and religion art and science and you name it you know we would have such long discussions actually keep them out of training um, but that's when I realized that um, most you know at, at the fundamental level that um, I'm, a, I'm a teacher. After realizing that, it wasn't that simple like, oh cool, now I'm gonna go and just teach stuff. Um, my next interest was actually to, um, to study marketing. After about a year, and I started my own company called Entrepreneurs, which was a business that helps artists and entrepreneurs help tell their story with greater impact on a global scale. That's what that business was about. But then I realized something even far more important than, than my vision for that business. And that was the fact that no matter what product or service that you have, if it's good, and if it's good enough, it will sell itself, no matter what. So word of mouth is king. That's what I realized going through my whole marketing journey. And that's why I decide now, instead of just you know, focus all my, focusing all my time on um, maximizing a relationship through, through technology and online leads and all these things that, everyone, that, that everyone's sort of doing, and then I realized, well, what is it that I, what, what is it that I really want to communicate oh, to communicate and, and to bring? What is it I wanted, that I want to create? Um, so I thought about a lot of online products that I want to develop, and I did, and uh, kind of just there was just something missing, and I was very excited because I was learning all these new techniques, filming, editing, producing online courses and online videos, but they, I just felt something there was something lacking, and I knew what that was, and it was that I knew that the there's something else that I, that I wanted to write on, talk about and pursue, but I just thought, you know, you can't really make a career out of that, which is to, um, is to teach what I would call the universal principles by which we make, we simplify everything um, and make things a lot more enjoyable in our lives. And that was the concept of wisdom. When you, when you focus on what you love most in your life, when you spend most of your time through your inspired work, that's where your energy comes from. That's where your ideas come from. That's what gets you up in the morning. It's everything. And everything else is sort of a byproduct of you focusing on doing your work. That's why I decided to, despite everything else, and despite having really gained a lot of traction in my business, I've made more money than I've ever had. Um, you know, most people think I'm probably crazy to leave this opportunity and to leave this business, but I'm dis I've decided to just, you know, go into writing full time and to travel. Right in that little dip is Dodger Stadium to the left of uh, downtown. 